Meanwhile, KMT presidential candidate Eric Ju today concluded a trip to America where he met with high-ranking officials in Washington and academics. Ju told reporters today he had met with everyone he needed to meet, even meeting with some officials who were not on the original list of names. Ju continued to tout his party's cross-strait policies, claiming that the KMT was the only party that could maintain peace in the Taiwan Strait. In response, DPP presidential candidate Tsai Ing-wen accused him of fomenting confrontations in society. On the last day of his visit to the U.S., Ju had breakfast with a professor who had mentored him during his studies at the City University of New York decades ago. Just like uh, a few days ago. <laughs> As he chatted with the professor, Ju's good mood was written all over his face. However, he still took the upcoming election as seriously as ever. When reporters curiously asked him what he thought about his American trip, I met up with some friends that I never expected to meet before I left Taiwan. During every meeting, I clearly stated the KMT's stance on Taiwan-US relations and its stance on cross-strait relations. I made it clear what the KMT stands for. Ju insisted that the KMT was the only Taiwanese political party that could uphold peace in the Taiwan Strait, but his opponent, DPP presidential candidate Tsai Ing-wen, disagreed. Originally, I thought that Jem and Ju's visit to America was to strengthen bilateral relations between the US and Taiwan, but we have observed that during his trip it seems as if he has taken election campaigning that is normally aimed at local people to the US. So I'd like to tell the KMT not to create too many confrontations in society during the process of election campaigning. In the final days before the elections on January the 16th, Ju and Tsai have both been on the attack, both playing the cross-strait relations card.